Scorpio to your end of the month reading for June. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and you went into my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, this is what's going on with you. Okay. Best message for Scorpio, please, at the end of the month. Best message for Scorpio. And what I'm looking for is what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Eight of Wands coming out. Swift activity, movement, waiting for something to move, waiting to move up that ladder, waiting for that action to really take place, um, the sudden progress. Could even be some hasty made decisions going on. So maybe there's some hasty decisions that are going on as you're trying to move up this ladder, trying to figure out how to do this, do that, or the other. Um, okay, let's clarify on this. Not only will this clarify on this card, but the entire reading. If my voice breaks, guys, I have a horrible sinus infection, so please excuse me. And if it seems like I'm yelling, it's because my ears are my ears are plugged. I can't even, barely even hear myself talk, so. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on. Nice summer sinus infection going on. Can't get any better than that, right? Okay. Challenging times going on over here. We got some challenging times going, and this is going to reflect upon the whole reading. Getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. Saying, I know. Ooh. Rebuilding. This is the same as a tower card. So having the I know over here is you using your intuition, that crown shocker coming up saying, yeah, I understand things. Um, and you will have the understanding of a lot more that's going on. Helpless and hopeless coming up in the near future. Possible near future, that is. So the rebuilding over here is talking about you rebuilding. Um, you, it's a tower, so it's talking about, well, there's this tower going on. You know that there's a tower. So, so now it's time to rebuild. So whatever has fallen, it feels like you're doing it all over again. But you also have the awareness, and I love that because it's almost like this here, even though it, that's the heart, I don't know, it's still picking up here. So I know there's some different areas. I know this is supposed to be in her head, but I see this here. So it's almost like the awareness, and you're having the awareness now. So it's almost like you're opening up to the awareness in the past to go straight into the present of saying, I understand what has gone awry. I'm having a revelation. Um, I understand that this has collapsed. I need to rebuild this. I need to, to create something better. The Four of Cups. It's like having that step back. It's like there was this disappointment. Um, you're looking at this cup. I'm trying to get this cup. It is here. Like you're holding on to this cup, having the awareness, having the understanding of what the heck is going on. It's like I woke up to understand that this is what has been bothering me. This is what is going on. So understanding where it is that you need to create this, where you need to rebuild this. Yeah. There is a lot of anxiety um, that goes with this, and there could have been a lot of insomnia because of a lot of thinking on how you're going to rebuild this, how you're going to create this. How is this going to start moving me up the ladder? How is this going to take a, you know, a swift progress to where I want it to be? This could definitely be a job or you create it, you know, if you own your own job, it could be a relationship. It could be whatever it is that you want, right? Because that's the way spirit is. We just leave it open unless it literally is talking about a, you know, situation. We can't ignore that, you know, that situation. But in this situation, it seems like your challenging time is whatever your challenging time is. Um, whatever this challenge is, it's like you need to recreate this. 
This is about building and recreating. Getting that job, getting that opportunity, that hobby, or whatever it is that you're doing um, to get yourself where you need to be. There it is. Recreating again. The tower has fallen, and now you're going to rebuild the tower. Whether it's love or whatever, right? But however it is, you're going to find the inspiration to be able to do so. So if it's a love relationship, then maybe you're learning how to recreate the love how to bring that love back together. If you've been together a very long time and you know you guys have split apart, you want to fix that. If it's your finances, you want to fix it. If it's a job opportunity or a hobby or something that you're creating. But you are the master creator in this story and that's really what this is. This challenging time is about you being the creator. You creating your own from the ashes. It feels like it fell, doesn't matter how hard it fell. Doesn't matter if it completely was obliterated or it's just a passing of something that fell that became chaotic and you have to rebuild it. That's right. And you're going to get going. The tough get going. Right? And that's really what it is. You said, well, this fell. Tough times hit us. And I'm going to recreate it from the top. And I'm going to not be stuck anymore. I'm actually going to take the action to figure out what the hell just happened. And then you say, aha. Because you're now getting inspired to create and to have the awareness of that's what it was. So it feels like Scorpio, all it's going to do is make you not, you know, it feels like you were fence sitting there for a while trying to figure it out. And not taking any actions. But now you're going to start moving. Now this is where the swift activity, you're saying, I want this to progress. I'm going to have to get going. Oh, yes, look at the determination that you have coming up with the Ten of Wands. I have this overall determination. I know where I want to be. I know what it's going to do. I know how to get to my dreams to get to this loved one. If I have problems trying to get to this loved one or this person that I'm, I fancy or however it is. Um, man, I think I just showed my age. I just said fancy, but whatever, right? Um, <laughs> that's okay. Um, the whole point is, is that... You know, I'm going to get to these dreams and I'm going to get to what I need to have. And you're overly determined now to see this progress. You're going to walk out of the challenge and make it you. Look, it's going to be a challenging time, but you're ready for the challenge. So it's almost like you've got your shield, you've got your sword, and you're ready to go to war on this. Absolutely, because you want this, you want this overall achievement for a lot of you. It's a job. It's something you're trying to create. Um, but however it is, it doesn't matter. It's just the overall achievement. You want to walk through this gate to get to these pinnacles, to get to what you believe is yours, what you believe deep down inside you are allowed to have. Just like everybody's allowed to have something, right? This is for me. So going over here to the helpless and hopeless... There is this, it's still a challenge. You're still in the challenge. Now, there's going to be this piece over here with the Eight of Swords that's going to make you feel a little defeated, right? Because I know that things are going the way I got to go, but I feel a little defeated over here. This is, you're not taking on something just um, so easy, right? You're taking on, it feels like a really big challenge, Um so yeah, you're going to feel all of a sudden in the near future, it could be a couple of weeks from now, next month, that this is becoming a bigger challenge than maybe you even thought it was possible. Okay. So like, you know, it's a challenge, but then all of a sudden it kind of, kind of strikes back. This challenge is like you trying to wrangle a cobra. It is definitely going to try to strike at you. It's going to be like the Scorpio versus the, cor the Cobra. 100. I mean, that's just literally what I see here. You as the Scorpio are stinging, 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 grabbing, grabbing, grabbing. And this thing, you know, is going to try to strike back at you. So, yeah, we're going to call it Scorpio versus the Cobra. The Cobra is the challenge. Why? Because you still don't feel like you have the Nine of Cups. <clears throat> so if this is a person, it's going to be a, a hard challenge between the two of you. Okay. If this is a job or a career, 
no matter what, it's going to be the Cobra. So we're just going to call your situation the Cobra. This is what I'm seeing. It's the best way to describe it. So you're not getting your Nine of Cups. You're not getting the, the satisfactions. It feels like you're a little bit, um, if it's somebody that you're dealing with, there's a little mistrust going on. Um, if it's just you in this other job, it could be you mistrusting your um, footing. Okay? Maybe you accidentally grabbed the cobra by its tail instead of by its throat. Right? Something happened. Something happened and you feel like you, you lost control of the cobra. Let's just put it that way. Something kind of happened, and it didn't go exactly the way you wanted it to go. Um, there could have been misplaced truths, false freedoms, material loss, imperfections. There was some kind of mistake made. You're missing some. You know, really what it feels like, Scorpio, if you really want to know the truth over here. I mean, seriously. You miss something. There's something missing. You're missing a puzzle piece. It does. It feels like you're missing a puzzle piece. You go from here. You're over here very determined, but then there's a there's an imperfection. There's a, something something you. It feels like a missing step. You might want to go back and reflect on what missing step you missed. See what it is that happened. You know, use that. You know, because you're all in the all knowing. But just because we're in the all-knowing doesn't mean we can't still miss a step. We are human. You know, you can go step by step by step and then all of a sudden get really excited and miss a step. And it really does feel, that's what it feels like. It feels like there's a missing piece, a missing link to the puzzle. And this is why you become helpless and helpless because you're going, I'm missing something. What is it that you're missing? There is growth going on. I see the growth. I see that it is moving swiftly. It is coming together. And, you know, you. I feel like you feel that too, especially in the present, like it's coming together better. But there's still something that's gone awry. There's, it's, it's either someone is not on board with you completely, which is kind of screwing it up. Um, or there's this, it just feels like a missing piece. Yeah, missing piece. The moon. Something is not reflective. Something is hidden. Something, something is hidden. Maybe they're hiding secrets from you, and so it's not bringing the relate. If it's a relationship, maybe they're not. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's them hiding something from you. If it is a job or something, there is a step missing. So you have to go back and reflect upon, and that's what it says, reflect, reflect upon what it might be missing, you know, confront something, go inside, kind of write down and say, what did I miss? Otherwise, it's this person who's kind of hiding something from you, and that's why it's not completely coming together. The relationship can grow and come back together, you know, but there's something wrong. If it's a bank account or debt or something that's going away and everything's there, maybe someone's spending too much money. Missing bill, something of this nature. Something is missing. Something is hidden and something is missing. But there is this good change, though. I do see the world coming together, and it is changing. You're not getting the Nine of Cups that you want. Absolutely not at this time why something is hidden. But you are having a better outcome. Things are moving swifter than, you know. Yeah, see, you are getting the Ace of Coins. There is things coming together, but it's just not exactly what you want. God. Oh, like, it feels almost like kind of irking and like annoying, right? Because it is feeling hopeless. It feels hopeless. Like I can only, because it feels like for you, Scorpio, you can only get this far. And then it's like, yeah, okay, then I get overall achievements, you know, and I will feel really good, but there's still something missing. And you're going to feel that in the near future. I think that's, and that's where you're going to feel it here. Something still doesn't feel complete. Yeah, it's weighing you down. 
because there's something unfair, something not justified, something is hidden. Yeah, there it is. Six of coins, something hidden. Something hidden from the light, something that makes it not 100. It's still imbalanced. And there's just, okay. This means imbalanced, this means imbalanced and unfair. So it's unfairly imbalanced, got it, right? And it's still pushing you against the wall. So it's like, I have money coming in, I'm feeling a lot better and a lot hopeful than I did before, but there's still this hopeless feeling. Yeah. So I guess you could say, like, if it was a love relationship, it's like, yes, we're coming together. The relationship is growing towards each other. But there still feels like it's not exactly where it should be, right? Something feels a little off. Something seems a little restricted. Something feels like, I don't know, a little misplaced. Huh. So watch for that because there is, there is something, it's just, it's definitely a missing link to the puzzle. So if it's a job, yeah, your money is looking good, but it could be so much better. And that's really what it is. So you could say, okay, so if I, you know, did this job, like we'll just use YouTube for, you know, an instant. I have a lot of YouTubers on here. Anyways, um, if I were making money and I was making $200, even though I know that I should probably be making about three or $400 right now, what is the missing link? Do you have not enough ads in? Um, am I missing ads? Am I not adding ads? Um, you see what I'm saying? Things of something like this, because that will actually make, um, that's just an example, because that will make you more money. Everybody in YouTube knows this, right? So if you don't, if you're only adding one ad, then you're not going to get your nine of cups because it's not going to make you move, right? You're always going to stay pretty complacent. And that's going to make you sad because you could put up a thousand videos and only still be making 250 bucks. What? What am I doing wrong? Well, the missing piece there would you would need more ads, guys. It's just literally, you're not going to make money off of YouTube with one ad. Okay? Plain and simple. You know, unless you have over... 500,000 subscribers, but if you're just starting, it's not going to happen, right? Everybody knows this, you know, unless you have a million, 500,000, you know, subscribers, something like this to be able to keep those things going. Like for me, instance, I could never have one ad, you know what I mean? Having only like 200 views per thing, there would, I would never make any money, right? So everybody knows it. So something like this, if it's something about this person, then they're hiding something from you and you need to figure out what they're hiding. Because they can come over here, give you the growth that you want, but you know that something's off. So now you have to figure out what is it that's off. Something is being hidden. I'll try to see for some of you what it could be possible for some of you, but it's not going to be the same for everyone. For some of you, they have another lover. And you're blinded to see it. There, that's one. That's why they're not coming towards you. That's not for everyone. Another one. Uh, let's see, for another person. So I mean, they're just cold shouldering you because they're trying to take action somewhere else. It just feels like the same thing. Um, what about money? What are they missing if it comes to money, career, um, anything like that? Whoa. Not planning. Not perfect planning. Yeah. For swift action, you would have to, you need to go back and look at your planning. Your planning is off. And that could have been like the thing I said before, right? It's not planning. It's not planning perfect. You're missing something in a step of planning. Okay. So go back and look at your plan list. Uh, 
clarify on the Queen of Wands. For some of you, you have this Queen of Wands over here who's guilty. Support. Clarify on the Queen of Wands or another one for Scorpio. Okay, for this scenario over here, it's like they're abusing your love. They're only, it's like a user deal over here. That's bad. Man, I've got all kinds of different ones over here. This one, someone's spending too much money behind your back. Or you guys just spend too much money and you don't recognize how much money you're actually spending. So if it comes to this kind of business, you have to recognize where your money is really going. Because there's something about not um, doing money right. Okay. So, and then for some of you over here, you got a user deal going on. So put yourself in whatever scenario you have. If you know that somebody else has got a third party situation or is looking at someone else, that's for you. This one over here, they're just not coming toward you because they don't really want to. <sighs> whatever. Okay, and then over here, you got somebody who's like, just kind of like a player. They're just using you. And then over here, somebody's bad with money. You need to really look at your finances. Somebody's overspending money. And then over here, you need to look at your planning. And that, that that would be like that YouTube thing I was talking about, okay? I got like four or five different scenarios over here. So that way, at least you guys can kind of put yourself in the area of whatever it is that's good for you, okay? Because this could be any scenario. So and that would be one of the missing links that you're looking for. I was going to leave it alone, but I decided, you know what? I don't think it's cool to tell you there's a missing link without trying to figure out what the missing link kind, you know, could be. So just wait for the perfect timing. And you do see that over here as well with the perfect timing within the next few weeks. So go ahead and start monitoring and looking for whatever that missing link is. Okay. And really continue to be within your crown chakra and start using the third eye chakra within the meditation to really dig deep and also use the shadow work that you need to use to have their, you know, resolutions that you need within the mind really digging deep okay and best of luck to you my friends until next time peace and love bye, -bye.